Yo, what's good, LA? It's your boy DJ Wavy, Power 106, Saturday Night Loud. I'm back here with Big Bro Dusto Dove. What's the deal, King? Dusto Dove, off a lot of it from the oh, cut of the butter, man. man. We went from the trunks to the stove. What's <laughs> going about on? It. Man, chilling, bro. I appreciate you first and foremost being here with me sitting down. First thing I want to get into, man, I just seen a clip. It was on one of your vlogs. And you was giving back or tapping in with the Westchester uh, girls soccer team. Yeah. I just want to say and give you your flowers now. I appreciate what you're doing for the community, bro, for the city. You're always giving back, always tapping in and stuff, bro. We need more like influential people like yourself in the city, bro. So I just want to give you your flowers and say that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the next thing is, how does it feel to be one of the most influential people at Rolling Loud LA? You know, it's so crazy. Like, like. I really didn't notice it was like that till I kind of came mm -hmm. today over here this way. Cause I, I, if y'all don't know, I have a booth here. I, I chase rolling around, rolling loud around. I'm one of the people that go to the city and uh, rent out a store for a pop up, and I do pop ups in most major cities where these festivals are. Yeah. So this was my first time ever actually being inside of a festival selling my merch. You know, I wasn't outside around the corner, up the street. You know, and yeah. that's a struggle itself. Cause yeah. it's like I'm not. I'll be in Miami and I'll do a pop up. Up in Winwood, you know, they be like, bro, that's too far from where everything Rolling Loud is like, from. Yeah, but yeah. being in LA, I know everything. So, you know, first day it was pretty slow, and I'm just trying to get sales. Second day, it was a little bit better, but I just opened, you know, the first black shoe store on Melrose, so I wasn't that, really bro. here. Congrats, but when man. I got here today, and I seen everybody wearing it, and I'm chilling, looking through my phone, seeing all the tags in yeah, the post. Yeah. It kind of felt good, and right. like not even like to see it, but just to see what people were saying that was reposting it. Like, yeah. that's my boy from high school. Like, you know, oh man, you inspired me. Like, that's the best feeling at all. Yeah, bro, and it, and I I just feel like it's a blessing because you're from the city, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And this is the first Rolling Loud in Los Angeles, and for you to be a part of it, like I I was in the Loud Club, and all I see on the on the screens on the main stage is your face, the brand, and everything, and I'm just like, damn, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. good to see somebody. You know what I'm saying? Looking up and I seen your growth, your journey. I don't know. You done been through ups and downs. You know what I'm saying? They done yeah. tried to put you down. So yeah. I, I respect it, bro. And all I want to say is uh, with the with the brand and everything, you just opened up another store. This is like what? Three or four stores? This now? is three. Three. I have four, but it was just like a pop-up temporary thing. Okay. But I got three stores that run seven days a week, 365. <sighs> How does that? How do you? How do you keep going, bro? You got all this business going. There's got... always room for improvement. Like with even me being here, everybody see my face on the screen, but I didn't put my at. Mm. I didn't put any like I didn't. You know, like so okay. they're visually seeing it, but uh, I need that to turn into okay. you know traction. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. every time I get an opportunity and I take advantage of it, I look at a better way to improve it. You know, so I can fully, fully capitalize off yeah. of it. Yeah. So you know, I'm never just in the pool like oh I'm comfortable. I'm like no, I need to swim deeper yeah. Yeah. and deeper mm -hmm. and deeper. Well, bro, all I want to say is I had two honors last year. I got to perform with my brother, Long Live Draco the Ruler. You know what I'm saying? And today. I get to interview the legendary yeah, Desto. Yeah, we in the man. building, you know man. We in the building. Yeah, bro. So I just want to shout you out. Anything you want to tell the people, man? Anything hey, else? Hey, man, you? look, I just, my, what I'm really here for is just to tell the kids you don't have to be a rapper. You don't have to be a ball player. That same time and energy you're going to put into any one of those things that are based truly off of talent, yeah. you can pull into something that's like, based off of your work or based off of your grind you know what i mean so like you know try to start a brand start a company you know um reinvent something all of y'all kids i know i see a lot of them just trying to chase after these one-legged dreams you know it's so a lot of things out there you can do you know so just keep that in mind when you are you're trying to figure out what you want to do in life don't always just take the only rap because you see me i sell t-shirts and i look just as and make as much as a rapper or an nba player mm -hmm. so you know if you want to live that life there's other ways to get there without having to do that or do anything illegal so just keep it on up and up kids well, we appreciate you king y'all know you heard it first power 106 saturday night loud dj wavy desto dub man we out here awful lot of it hey appreciate you